Welcome to Stock Invest YouTube channel and this stock report for Sundial Growers. The report was first published on our website April 14, 2022, but this is a more detailed version which also includes some fundamental data you need to know. In this 7 to 10 minute long video we give you the information you need to know about Sundial Growers for the upcoming trading day on Monday 18th, like support and resistance levels, signals, chart analysis, price to earnings ratios, and possible trading levels. Make sure you watch the entire report so you don't miss out on some key information needed for your trading. Please remember to subscribe so we can continue to grow and give you these free videos. Make sure to hit like and notification bell so you will be first to know when we post a new video. Now just sit back, relax, listen and watch the screen as we will show you some interesting data as we move along with the report. In this section you will get some information about the current Sundial Grower's performance to better understand the where the stock is right now. In our systems, the Sundial Grower's stock currently holds a minus 3.416 score, and our system has ranked Sundial Growers sell candidates since April 14, 2022. Over the next few days we will see how this evaluation performs. In our daily updates for Sundial Growers our last headline reads, Sundial Growers Inc. stock price fell more than minus 10.61% Thursday closing at 53 cents. The Sundial Growers Inc. stock price fell by minus 10.61% on the last day, Thursday, April 14, 2022, from 59 cents to 53 cents. During the day the stock fluctuated 8.08% from a day low at 53 cents to a day high of 57 cents. The price has fallen in 7 of the last 10 days and is down by minus 24.15% for this period. Volume has increased on the last day by 33 million shares but on falling prices. This may be an early warning and the risk will be increased slightly over the next couple of days. In total, 95 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $50.18 million. In the last 52 weeks, the highest price of the stock was $1.49, and the lowest price was $0.40. Cents. Right now the price is 64.36%, or $0.96, cents, below 52-week high and 95.98%, or $12.69, below all-time high August 7, 2019 where the price hit $13.22. The Sundial Growers Stock Trends, Predictions and Analyst Ratings Soon we will give you the analyst ratings for the stock, but first the trends. The stock lies in the lower part of a very wide and strong rising trend in the short term, and this may normally pose a very good buying opportunity. If the lower trend floor at 53 cents is broken, it will firstly indicate a slower rate of rising, but may also be an early warning for a trend shift. The current three-month trend indicates a possible 21.66% change over the next three months, with a possible return between 208.69% and 282.29%. The 12-month trend it indicates a minus 31.21% change over the next 12 months with a possible return between 132.67% and 208.31%. This equals a price between $1.24 and $1.64 after a year. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets From Analyst Sundial Growers Stock Received a General Buy Rating The analysts give P.E. ratio a strong buy and price to book a strong buy rating. For the return on investment the analysts give the Sundial Growers Stock a neutral rating. In this section we will give you some information about signals found for Sundial Growers. We will start with the general picture before we move on some of the most famous indicators and signals that will give you a deeper and better understanding of the trading possibilities in the stock. There are few to no technical positive signals at the moment. The Sundial Growers Incorporated stock hold sell signals from both short and long-term moving averages giving a more negative forecast for the stock. Also, there is a general sell signal from the relation between the two signals where the long-term average is above the short-term average. On corrections up, there will be some resistance from the lines at 58 cents and 58 cents. A breakup above any of these levels will issue by signals. A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Friday, March 25, 2022, and so far it has fallen minus 34.61%. Further fall is indicated until a new bottom pivot has been found. Furthermore, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. Volume rose on falling prices yesterday. 
This may be an early warning and the stock should be followed more closely. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence holds a sell signal. Pivots gave a sell signal 15 days ago. Bollinger gave a buy signal 18 days ago. The short-term moving average for the three-month chart gave a buy signal three days ago. The long-term moving average for the three-month chart gave a buy signal three days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages in the three-month chart gave a buy signal two days. If we look at the 12-month chart we see, short moving average gave a sell signal 10 days ago. The long-term moving average gave a buy signal three days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages gave a buy signal 14 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk and Stop Loss for Sundial Growers Sundial Growers Incorporated find support from accumulated volume at $0.52 cents and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. This stock may move very much during the day, volatility, and with a very large prediction interval from the Bollinger Band this stock is considered to be very high risk. During the last day, the stock moved $0.0428 between high and low, or 8.08%. For the last week, the stock has had a daily average volatility of 6.6%. The stock has a beta of 5.24. This tells us that Sundial Growers is 4.24 times more volatile than the market. Here are some possible good day trading levels. On an upturn, Sundial Growers meets first resistance at 57 cents. If you do not hold Sundial Growers shares you should wait for this level to be broken before placing your bet. If you already have the stock this is the level you may want to swing trade. On a downturn Sundial Growers finds first level of support at 52 cents and this is a natural place to put your bet if the support holds with an expectation of a rebounce upwards. Other levels you should watch based on the famous Fibonacci model are. Buy at, 53 cents, 52 cents, 50 cents. Sell at, 56 cents, 57 cents, 59 cents. The average ratings combined from several analyst sources for Sundial Growers is buy. We hold a negative evaluation for this stock, no stop loss set. Is Sundial Growers stock a buy? The Sundial Growers Incorporated stock holds several negative signals and despite the positive trend, we believe Sundial Growers Incorporated will perform weekly in the next couple of days or weeks. Therefore, we hold a negative evaluation of this stock. Due to some small weaknesses in the technical picture we have downgraded our analysis conclusion for this stock since the last evaluation from a buy to a sell candidate. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day our systems find that the current price is undervalued. For the trading on Monday 18th we expect Sundial Growers to open up $0.0136 and start trading at $0.54. Cents. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. That's the end of this video, thanks for watching. Leave a comment if you have any questions and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.